vigorous. right along the Kansas-Nebraska border, right in the action zone for land spout potential. And you can see this low top of vigorous convection here, very crisp updraft bases. This convection is lining up on a west to east boundary of enhanced surface vorticity or spin. So anytime you take one of these updrafts and it moves over that surface vorticity, it has the potential of shifting that horizontal spin into the vertical and developing into a weaker tornado or a land spout tornado, which is a vortex that is not necessarily associated uh, with the mesocyclone, uh, likely not to be damaging, but they can be, uh, and can be quite beautiful as well. So I'm going to be working these convective uh, bases here, uh, these little miniature updrafts lining up one after another along this boundary. This is also a differential heating boundary here, cooler temperatures off to the north, down here to the south, temperatures are rising into the middle 50s. Uh, so very well mixed to the south, and you can even see how these updraft bases are a little bit higher above the ground further south, and then they're training into this boundary. And then once they hit that boundary and hit that surface vorticity, they flip it into the vertical, and that's when you can get the development of those land spout tornadoes. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center has a 2% risk for those vortices out here near the Nebraska-Kansas border, maybe a little bit north into Nebraska toward the McCook area. But I'm going to be watching these bases very closely for land spout tornado potential. Hailstones, yes! Sleep. 